Sharks and rays play an important role in maintaining the balance of marine ecosystems. So if we strip them off from our oceans, it's going to have severe impacts on ocean health as well as us on people because of food security. Already, a lot of illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing practices declined these species over the years. partnered Microsoft and Conservation International to use AI to identify shark species just looking at the shape and size of the fin. This is very important because there are 1,000 sharks and rays globally and 30 of them are listed as CITES too. Anyone around the world can use it. Enforcement uh, agencies, uh, people on the ground that may not have knowledge of, the, of sharks can quickly identify and you know bring it down to the species level and identify these sharks as to whether they are illegally traded or not. We hope that we can share this technology uh, with the global uh, community so that the fight against illegal wildlife trade uh, will be stronger and will be more collaborative. I think that is, this app brings a lot of hope to the conservation of um, sharks and rays. The Microsoft AI for Earth program is grant-based where we help organizations around the world, be it researchers or scientists, to address the world's most pressing challenges, be it climate change, biodiversity, agriculture, water. This is our way of moving AI out of the lab, creating this planetary computer where we aggregate a lot of scientific data, putting that data into the hands of researchers, scientists, nonprofit organizations, to then be able to analyze that data and produce actionable intelligence itself. So I think it's very important because it gives us a great opportunity to learn, to learn about how our technologies is impacting the work that NPAX is doing. But at the same time, how our technologies can improve, how our programs can improve to really accelerate the kind of work that NPAX is doing and together with other governments around the world as well. This all started with a, a casual conversation I had with a friend and we were talking about some of the challenges that wildlife inspectors have trying to identify just hundreds or thousands of species moving through ports of entry. Then the idea just clicked and we said, hey, okay, what if we could take AI and what if we could take mobile apps and, and put it in, put it together in an application and a tool that would help inspectors be able to do their job more efficiently and effectively. So the goal really is to make their lives easier. They're now going to have a tool on their phone that they're going to be able to take a photo of those fins and rapidly within three, four or five seconds, be able to identify and determine what species that fin belongs to. You know, for me, it was a real humbling experience because a lot of these people, this is not their day job. And so it was very obvious once they got involved in this and understood the, the magnitude of the problem, they just loved it. They loved being able to work on a solution that was gonna help save wildlife species and particularly sharks and rays around the world. And once we felt like we had a really good problem to solve and would really help Singapore National Parks, we put in the proposal to Microsoft and the AI for Earth program. They thought it was really exciting and once they funded it, we basically started cranking through this in about nine months. That's really an important milestone to be able to go from basically idea through you know the whole concept of creating something that's usable and meaningful for a particular particular user, and then being able to have a functioning application that solves uh, you know a major wildlife problem. Before this app, inspectors would depend mainly on paper-based fin identification guides. But converting this approach to a mobile app would make an inspector's job a lot easier and it could potentially increase their capabilities to detect more illegally traded shark products. So combating illegal wildlife trafficking is such a great start for us and we look forward to leveraging this program, putting Microsoft AI into the hands of researchers, scientists, organizations to create innovation for everyone that engages all of us because Let's face it, we only got this planet. Yeah.